let us continue with the pure mathematics section of the 1c 2023 elective mathematics further mathematics theory questions paper 2 question 9 says that if the radius of a circle increases at the rate of 0 0.8 meters per second find in terms of pi the rate at which its area increases when the radius is 6.5 meters. The B part says, find the equation of the tangent to the curve x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 4y plus 3 is equal to 0 at the point 2, 1. So, we're given the following information. We're told that the rate at which the radius increases is 0. 8 meters per second that is the rdt is 0 0.8 meters per second then we're also giving the radius to be 6.5 meters but we're not giving the rate at which the area increases so we are going to calculate that one so we use the chain rule differentiation application of differentiation as the chain rule it says that when we have the a dt it is the same as the a dr times the r dt that is the rate at which the area changes with respect to time is equal to the rate at which the area changes with respect to the radius times the rate at which the radius changes with respect to time so we can do the substitution we know that the area of a circle is by r squared so we can find we can differentiate this to get with respect to r to get it the r so that will give us 2 pi r times the r dt so we know the r dt to be 0 0.8 the radius is 6.5 so we substitute and when we simplify we get 10.4 pi meters per meter square per second now let's look at the b part of the question we have to find the equation of the tangent to the curve, which is a circle. So we have other alternatives or we have more, more ways to solve this. We are going to talk about only one. So we are going to use implicit differentiation to find the gradient of this circle at this point. Then we use that point to find the equation of the tangent. So, given the equation of the circle, we can differentiate implicitly. So, differentiate x squared, you get 2x. Differentiate y squared, you get 2y, dy, dx. Then, differentiate 2x, you get minus 2, minus 4, dy, dx. Recall that as we are differentiating with respect to x, if we differentiate y, you need to indicate that it is actually a differentiation of y with respect to x so that is what you are seeing in both points over here so so we solve for dy dx that is we factor dy dx out of this and this we get 2y minus 4 then we send um, the other ones to the other side of the equation to get 2 minus 2x so dividing through by 2y minus 4, we get this expression for dy dx. So at a given point, point, x equal 2 and y equal 1. So we do the substitution to get dy dx to be equal to 1. So that is the gradient of the tangent at the point 2, 1. So we can use the equation y minus y1 is equal to x, m into bracket x minus x1. And this will give us this by substitution this is our x1 this is our y1 so we substitute into the given equation and that will give us x minus y minus 1 equals 0 in a general form as it was given the question for the circle then we proceed to question number 10 Given that x plus 2 and 2x plus 3 are factors of f of x 
equals 6x cubed plus px squared plus 4x minus q, where p and q are constant. We have to find the values of p and q, the roots of f of x. So, let's begin. Given the factors, when we set this factor to 0, we get x equal negative 2. So, f of negative 2 should give us 0 since it is a factor of the polynomial. So f of negative 2 should be equal to 0. So we do the substitution to this function. Wherever we see x here, we put negative 2. And that will give us what we are seeing here. So when we simplify, we get negative 48 plus p minus 8 minus q equals 0. So that will give us q to be equal to 4p minus 56. We are making q the subject. So we can name it our first equation. Then we also use the second factor. We set it up to 0 and get x to be negative 3 over 2. So f of negative 3 over 2 should be equal to 0 as well. So when we fix in and simplify, we should get the equation 2 to be 9p minus 4q equal 105. So let's now substitute equation 1 into equation 2. So when we do that, we are going to get 9p minus 4p minus 6 times 4 equal 105. We expand, then we solve for p to get p equal 17. So when p is 17, we can substitute it back into equation 1 to get q to be equal to 12. Therefore, p equals 17 and q is 12. So let's look at the b part of the question. It says that we have to find the root of f of x. So f of x is now equal to 6x cubed plus 17x squared plus 4x minus 12. Now, we found two roots already x equal negative 2, x equal negative 3 over 2. To get the third root, what we have to do is to factor this completely. So what do we do? We can look, we can use, we can use long division. So we multiply this factor by this factor, which will give us 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. Then we divide by, we divide the polynomial by that factor. So 6x cubed divided by 2x cubed will give us 3x. So 3x we use to multiply each of this time and that will give us negative, this, that will give us 6x cubed plus 21x squared plus 18x. So we do the subtraction now and to get what we are seeing here. So we have to divide um, negative 4x squared by uh, 2x, 2x squared, that will give us minus 2. So that will give us this, and you can see that the subtraction will give us 0. So the complete factorization will be x plus 2, 2x plus 3, and 3x minus 2 equals 0. So that will give us x equal negative 2 or x equal negative 1 whole number 1 over 2 or x equal 2 over 3. So these are the roots of f of x. Now let's look at um, the question number 11. An estate developer had a 40 year building plan for a country starting from January 2001. The number of houses to be built each year forms an arithmetic progression. 372 houses were built in 2010 and plans to build 10,032 10, houses in 2040. Find the number of houses expected to be built in 2023. So this is an AP, so we need to find A and B. And A, which is the first term, and D, which is the common difference. So we're given that in 2010, that is in when n is equal to 10, when n equal 10, we had 372 houses. So in, in other words, a plus 3, a plus 9d equal to 372. 
and also in 2040 that is when n equal 40 we had we will, we will get 1032 houses so a plus 39 d should be equal to 1032 so we solve for d by subtracting equation 1 from equation 2 and dividing through by 30 we get d to be 22 so our a will be equal to we substitute a into the first equation d into the first equation our a will be equal to 372 minus 198 which is 174 so we have a we have d we can now find the number of houses expected to be built in 2023 in that case our n will be equal to 23 so we use this formula u sub n equal a plus n minus 1 times d so when we substitute n equal 23 we are getting 178 plus 22 times 22 which is 658 houses that is expected to be built in 2023 now the b part says that we have to find the total number of houses expected from the developer at the end of the 40 years so total number of houses it means we are finding the sum of houses from the very first year january 2021 january 2001 to january 2040 so that will be n equal 40 number of years and we have s of n to be equal to n over 2 2a plus n minus 1 times d so this is not the only way you can do it um, you can do you have other ways to, to do it both this question and this one okay both this question and what we are currently doing so if you have not done it exactly as we are doing it don't worry yes what matters is that you follow the correct process so 40 over 2 will be 20 times this will give us 348 and this will give us 858 so we are getting 24,120 houses that is expected by the developer thank you very much please if you have not yet subscribed to this channel just click the subs subscribe button it doesn't mean that they will take money from you what it means is that when I upload the next video, you get the information. Thank you very much. Or you'll be able to find it easily. Thank you very much for your support. Don't forget to just share with your colleagues. Thank you.